think I am beautiful? What about now? When you saw that I have no left arm, did that change your thoughts on my beauty? Society, the media, fashion, all dictate what is beautiful or what is perceived to be beautiful in our world today. These are often unachievable levels of perfection. But what is perfect? Perfection does not exist. It is time to stop aspiring to perfection. And why should you care? Because each and every one of us is unique. Each and every one of us deserves to be represented. Today, I speak about disability, but no matter your race, age, shape, size, color, class, gender choice, sexuality, or any other difference, you are beautiful. Your true, unique, authentic self is the most beautiful thing that you can ever be. So I'm here today to challenge the perceptions about beauty for all of us. Living in an age where the amount of followers or likes can determine your worth, the pressure to be perfect is at an all-time high. Well, how about this for a revelation? You do not need Instagram's approval or permission to feel beautiful or worthy of receiving love. How beautiful would it be if you had the freedom to be yourself, the total freedom to be yourself, the freedom to feel beautiful? You do not need to be the media's version of perfect. Your life does not have to be perfect. Your skin does not have to be perfect. You do not have to be perfect. You just need to be seen, heard, represented, celebrated. In this wonderfully diverse world that we live in, the most moral and modern thing society the media can do is represent us all. Do not let society strip you of your natural beauty. Your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, they are all valid and they are all worthy. Be proud of who you are. I have to be determined because the oppression, the unfairness, and discrimination against disabled people is relentless, but I always have to challenge it. But to create change, you have to be fearless. You have to be courageous. I remember years ago, a young girl decided to contact me. She was born with a hand missing, just like me. She wore a prosthetic arm all of her life. When in reality, the damn thing was hard, impractical, hot, uncomfortable, completely disabling. But she longed to have the confidence, the courage, to be herself, to take it off, to be free. She wrote to me asking for advice. I can't remember exactly what I told her. But she wrote back to me years later to say she doesn't wear the fake arm anymore. That she is happy, she is confident, has made lots of new friends, and is studying photography in her final year at uni. She went on to say, deciding to contact me was the best decision of her life. And that meant absolutely everything to me. I often wonder how this girl's life would have turned out if she did not have anybody to represent her in the media. 
We all need role models. We need connectors, leaders, heroes to enable us to dream that everything and anything is possible. Having one hand, well, I was born this way, so having one hand was just natural to me. I never identified with the word disabled. The word just sounds so negative, outdated, boring, broken. Not a word that I identify with my personality or my body. I could do exactly the same as my friends, all without fear. I threw myself into everything. I climbed, I swam, I rode a bike, drove a go-kart, I danced, all without fear. Because I never saw myself as different, I never identified with the term disabled. And I never compared myself to anybody. In my eyes, I could do the same things as my friends, date the guys I liked, the boys. I could wear stylish clothes. I was just as beautiful as my friends, or even the models in the magazines. Then I became a model. I was signed to a top London agency. You would think I'd be at my most confident and happy, right? It's quite the opposite. For the first time in my life, I felt very disabled. Ten years ago, at the start of my modeling career, I watched a video of a model. She was at Fashion Week, and she said the Fashion Week would rather burn down than see a disabled model on the runway. This image is of me modeling for Tatum Jones at London Fashion Week in February. Yes, I am on fire, but not the way that model envisioned. But I was exposed to other people's opinions on beauty. And for the first time in my life, I felt guilty, ashamed, embarrassed about my body. When before, I never felt like that. So my confidence and self-worth was at an all-time low. I know you can relate. When was the last time you felt you weren't pretty enough, thin enough, cool enough, handsome enough, buff enough? That your idols on social media or in the magazines were something that you would never, ever be? Well, that feeling became my everyday reality. I had no idea that people feared a body like mine so much. But then I thought about it. Where were the images like me in fashion magazines, in advertising campaigns, on the billboards, on TV? We have always been seen as a burden to society, as inferior, that a disabled person could not possibly do anything better than one of the normals. In some countries, the murder of disabled babies still goes on today. But this is just a brief snapshot of the treatment of disabled people in the fashion industry, the treatment of disabled people in the world. Incarcerated, institutionalized, isolated, dehumanized, in 2018, we have made some slow progress, but there's so much more to do. Most of you would believe that, or think, that a disability is something you're born with or that you acquire through an accident or old age, right? What if I told you that disability is something society has created by putting up barriers to inclusion? like physical access, for example. I'm not disabled by missing a hand, 
Missing a hand is only your perception. I'm not missing anything. I am whole and I am complete. I am disabled by the lack of opportunities. I am disabled by the attitudes of society. I do not need to change anything about my body. Society needs to change the way it views my body. My body is the reason why I'm standing here on the stage talking to you today. My body is the reason why I have the privilege of helping other people. My body is the reason why I'm committed to making a difference in the fashion industry, in our world. I'm committed to make, changing the way society sees disability and beauty. I invite you all to make that difference with me. Let's do it now. Choose love over fear. Let's relish in every so-called flaw or imperfection. Let's support and empower each other. Move mountains, chase dreams, break barriers. Stand in your power and say, this is who I am. Accept your physicality. Be proud of who you are and love the skin that you're in. Thank you. Thank you.